Brett Stormbergen here, taking you on an insider's tour of Jasper National Park. Today we are here at the viewpoint for the wonderful Athabasca Pass. This pass is just south of Edith Cavell and goes over to the Columbia River. This has tremendous history in this part of the world, in Jasper National Park, and it all begins with a young man who, at age six, lost his father in Great Britain. His mother was not able to maintain the family, and so he was sent to a school that was responsible for teaching math and surveying. And he became an excellent student. At age 13, the Hudson's Bay Company recruited him to come here to Canada to do their surveying and to do their exploration for the fur trade industry. His use of astronomical observations for surveying earned him the name Cuckoo Sint or the stargazer from the First Nations people he encountered who considered him a great medicine man. He worked as a fur trader and a surveyor for the Hudson's Bay Company for 13 years until he was given instructions to stop surveying and focus on fur trading. Frustrated, he left the Hudson's Bay Company and walked 80 miles in the snow to go to work for the Northwest Company as a surveyor. Cuckoo Santor, David Thompson as we refer to him, in 1810 started his journey down the North Saskatchewan River to go through the Howes Pass over to the Columbia River. He had been there on many occasions before. And at this particular time, when he was trying to pass through there, his friends, the Pegan First Nations people, got very upset with him because they thought he was going to trade firearms with their enemies on the other side of the mountains. And so they chased him away. And David Thompson, with his entourage, came north here towards Jasper House. What's interesting to note is that on their run, when they were fleeing from the First Nations people, what happened is three, three grizzly bears popped up in the trail between them. And the First Nations people thought, he's magical, he has magic. And so they turned around and went back. So David Thompson, as he fled up here from that Saskatchewan River crossing, ran into a real problem. The snow here was 20 feet in depth and his horses couldn't get any further. And so he stayed down here at Jasper House for almost a full month and he made dog sleds so that he could come through the Athabasca Pass right here over to the Columbia River. January 1811, this is the area that he came to and these are the kind of conditions that he took his people through. <laughs> we'll let that die off a bit. As they went through here, they came to this large mountain that they had to go up and go down and on their way up it was a struggle. But up on top, they realized that they were having a real problem. Actually what happened is on their descent, as they were going down, the sleds were passing the dogs. It was that steep. And so they had to unload part of their loads on, of the sleds. They built a cache and they put it up on top of that and they left some people behind to guard it and they went down to the bottom of the mountain. And then they trekked back, you see, with 20 feet of snow, that meant the people had to wear snowshoes and they had to break trail for their dogs. So they went back and forth, taking that stuff from their cache down to the bottom of the mountain. And in that process, David Thompson gives credit to a Wolverine for stealing a leather pouch, a leather pouch, about a quarter inch thick leather, containing five pounds of musket balls, this Wolverine stole from his pack. And of course, they carried on with their journey and were successful. A hundred and ten years later, in 1921, the Boundary Commission were up here reviewing the boundary between British Columbia and Alberta. And up on top here of the Athabasca Pass, there they encountered a pile of musket balls. A hundred and ten years later, they were still there. I guess that Wolverine didn't think they were too delicious, so he left them behind. 
And of course, folks, as you travel through this area, you will find that those musket balls are in different museums from the Rocky Mountains all the way over into Ottawa. Of the 114 musket balls that were recovered in 1921 up here on top of the Athabasca Pass, three of those musket balls are housed here inside the Jasper Yellowhead Museum and Archives. So folks, why don't you come with me and we'll take a look at those three musket balls. Wonderful opportunity to come and take a look at them, folks. Three of the original 114 musket balls that were found up on top of the Athabasca Pass. In 1814, Thompson completed his great map covering 3.9 million square kilometers of North American wilderness. Seven feet tall and almost 11 feet wide, this map is so accurate that a hundred years after its creation, it was still the basis of maps issued by the Canadian government. And so we remember Cuckoo Sint, or David Thompson, as the greatest land geographer the world has ever produced. Stay safe, be well, and I'll see you in the mountains. This one was made for you and me. <laughs>